implementing tcs in busy this presentation will give you an overview on implementing tcs in busy tcs is tax collected at source when a seller is selling some products then he can collect tcs from the buyer under income tax act section 206c there are certain categories or commodities under which you can collect the tcs for example if you have sold some scrap then you can collect tcs on it if you have a parking lot then you can collect tcs from the buyer so it is the seller who collects the tax from the buyer and deposit it to the government through authorized bank to enable tcs in busy click administration configuration features options tds tcs tab under this tab enable the option of enable tcs reporting and enter various details related to tcs like tan number payers category whether it is a domestic company or any other type of company company's address telephone number email details then click amount round of options to specify the rounding options for various amounts then click the responsible persons detail button to enter details of the person who is responsible for collecting and depositing tcs on behalf of your company click save button to save the configuration on enabling the tcs by default all the relevant masters related to tcs will be created automatically here we are having a look at the bill sundry master we have opened the bill sundry master tcs in the modify mode you can see various details related to tcs are being specified in the bill sundry if you want you can create any other bill sundry using the bill sundry add option next we will have a look at the duties and taxes account here we have opened the tcs account in the modify mode and have seen that various details related to the tcs are being specified in it next we will create a party account here we have specified the name of the party as ab traders and have selected its group as sundry debtors on selecting the group as sundry debtors a tcs information for account window appeared in which we have enabled the tcs and specified the pay category that is whether it is a domestic company partnership firm individual resident and so on click save button to save the party master now we will enter a sales voucher enter details related to the header of the sale voucher here we have sold scrap of 15 kg at the rate of 700 per kg we have applied the bill sundries of vat at 5% and then tcs at 1% On saving the voucher a TCS details window appeared in which TCS applicable is yes TCS category code is 206E and we have specified the sub category code as E In this window we will create a reference for this transaction and this reference will later on will be adjusted while making the payment of the TCS here we have created reference number 1 for the TCS amount click save button to save the voucher Next we will enter a payment voucher for the tax TCS deposited to the government. Here we have debited the TCS account by 110 rupees and credited the State Bank of India account by 110 rupees. On saving the voucher an adjust TCS reference window appeared in which we have selected the reference number 1 that is against this reference we are depositing the TCS to the government. At the bottom of the window we will enter details related to the payment of the TCS like we are making payment for which quarter date of tax deposited chalan number check number and the bank where tax is deposited by default the value you have specified in the lis field of the bank master will appear as the bsr code of the bank click save button to save the voucher next we will go to display menu and view the tcs reports here form 27 eq Form 27 EQ annexure and TCS collection details reports are appearing. First we will have a look at the form 27 EQ we are generating the report for first quarter. Here busy has shown all the details related to the TCS like TCS amount, surcharge amount if any, date of tax deposited and other relevant details. Next we will have a look at the form 27 EQ annexure. We have specified the category as 206C and Busy has shown all the details related to it on the screen. Next, we will have a look at the TCS collection details report. All the details as required by the government are shown on the screen. Next, we will go to print email SMS menu and generate e-TCS return. Here we will specify the path where the e-return file will be generated. On clicking the OK button a form 27 EQ file will be generated at the path specified via you. Next we will open the 
TCS utility provided by the government. Here, first of all, we will specify the path of the Form 27EQ file, that is the path where the 27EQ file has been generated by BZ. Next, we will specify the path for the Chalan input file, that is the file which you have got at the time of depositing the TCS. You will specify the path of that file in this data field. Next, we will specify the path where an error file will be generated in case there would be an error in the TCS file generation. Next is consolidate file name with path. Here the actual file will be generated which will be uploaded on government website. Click the validate button. On clicking the validate button, a form 27EQ file here has been generated. This is an error file because there may be some errors in the file. If there are no errors in the file, then the form 27EQ will be generated without any error. Hope after going through this presentation, you would be able to easily use TCS feature in Busy. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.